In the 18th century, one woman changed history for the rest of us women in society. Here's a quote from one of her famous novels. I do not wish for them to have power over men, but over themselves. This is a direct quote, quote from one of their novels. Who was this famous woman, and how did she change the educational system that we know today? Her name was Mary Wollstonecraft. In the 18th century, she changed history for our education system. Mary Wollstonecraft was known as an advocate of women's equality. She critiques the normal feminine role in our society. She was one of the founding female philosophers, and in 1792, Mary Wollstonecraft wrote A Vindiction of the Rights of a Woman. And in this book, she argues that women are not naturally inferior to the male race, that they merely appear to be due to their lack of education. She was an advocate for all women's rights, and her most notable book, A Vindiction of the Rights of a Woman, argues that well-educated women will be good wives and mothers, and they will contribute positively to their nation. In her most famous book on women's rights, she states that many women are silly and superficial, but states that it is not due to a deficiency, but it is due to the fact that they have been denied their right to an education. Rather than women being viewed as an ornament in society, women should be considered human beings who deserve the same fundamental rights as men. She argues that women need to redefine their role in society, and she claims that women are essential to the nation because they will teach their children and they will be companions rather than a mere wife. If Mary Wollstonecraft did not write this novel, A Vindiction of the Rights of a Woman, the idea of women being educated wouldn't have been introduced in the 18th century. And for example, I would not be pursuing my second bachelor's degree if it wasn't for one woman, Mary Wollstonecraft, speaking up the way she did and fighting for women's equalities to have the same rights as men.